Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ with one line art and two grease pencil updates in Blender. This is a bakery shop that I made with the bakery shop tutorial and I've linked his amazing video in the description. The first line art update is this new option to use the inverse of a collection and I want to test this out in Blender 3.2 beta. I wanted to test this out on the tree so I'm just going to click the shortcut slash which isolates an object. So now I'm going to add the line art. So for at for right now, at least it has to be a collection line art. And of course, when I do that, my tree on the other side also gets the line art feature. So now I'm going to go to the line art. And now right next to the collection, I'm gonna press those two arrows. And what it's supposed to do is do the inverse of what I, what's already selected. So for mine, at least, it's really, really uh, subtle and it's kind of, can you see it kind of? But I'm actually going to go to the Blender website so, so you'll be able to see it more clearly. So for the example on the Blender website, if they click it, you can see it's more clearly, you can see the inverse of those boxes. Update number two is this new option to make noise random and keyframes only. So for this to work, before I go to the noise modifier, I'm going to move Suzanne. Okay, now I'm selecting the first keyframe at frame number one and I'm clicking Shift D to duplicate it. And I'm going to insert a keyframe at every 20. Now that my keyframes are ready, I'm going to go to the noise modifier. When I play it right now, this is the default. Now I'm going to go in to randomize and change it from the default, which is called steps. And I'm going to change it to keyframe. So now the noise modifier will only work wherever I have the keyframe. So every 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, that's when it, um, Suzanne will move. And finally, update number three is this new auto masking strokes for sculpt. And again, I'm in version 3.3 alpha. So right now I have two different layers just to show you layer number one, layer number two, and I have three different materials. Okay, now I'm going to go from draw mode to show you these new settings in sculpt mode. Okay, I'm just gonna get in and play with it. Just show you, okay, sculpt mode. Okay, now I'm gonna undo that and show you these new options. Right next to strength, there's this brush option. And if you click it, there's these three auto masking options. The first is stroke. So I play playing around with it. If you hover over a stroke, it will move just that stroke. It's pretty awesome. Okay, I undid that. So the next option is layer. So now I have layer one selected. And again, layer one is just the hello and the little squiggly line. So with that selected, it will only sculpt what I have in the specific layer. So if I go down to world, nothing will move. And finally, the last option is material. So of course that's going to only move the material that I have selected. So for this option, I'm only going to have the blue material selected. So of course, when I want to go into sculpt mode, only the blue will move. Nothing in the hello or the squiggly line will move. Mm -hmm. 
This is a really cool update. I'm gonna keep playing with this, but thank you guys so much for watching for these three updates in Blender. This is Joy San Anthony, aka JJ. Until next time.